One of the highlight scenes of Hands Through Face would be a scene with Cassandra's hands going through Mr. Paradox's face. You literally see every pore on his face. It's fantastic effects, very, very cringeworthy. In our development process, we played with different skin thicknesses, and I liked it thinner, because we actually want to start seeing the details of her, like, knuckles in his skin. There's definitely a skull in those heads, and she definitely works around it. And then when the fingers go over the eyeballs, the eyeballs pop out, and uh, it's, it's great. So for Hands Through Face, Sean and the VFX team started out with comic book reference. There's some key comic book frames that we really tried to match, where it goes straight up through here, and her fingers like to come out, the nostrils and the eyeballs and the ears. Whenever we are replacing limbs or replacing faces, we'll often put tracking markers on. Emma's hand has to go somewhere, so we would just put it off to the side or this side or out of frame. Then we would do clean plates on the day to clean up the arm or the hand. And then in post, we would do a fully digital hand and arm and then into a mostly digital Matthew McFadden face. And then we go into detailed animation and that would be getting the details of the fingers, sliding over the skull just right, getting it over the forehead and dipping into the eye socket, that kind of thing. And then we go into a final detailed sculpting and creature pass. And that's where you really would figure out, like if she was wearing a ring, you would see the ring in there or the knuckle. Ring, please. Oh my God. Our heroes go to Cassandra's lair twice. The first time they go, that's when Cassandra meets them all and when she puts her hands through Deadpool's face. The second time they go, we call it the assault, and it's the big battle near the end of the movie. That's when Wolvie gets his hands through face routine. What's going on here? The assault is a really great example of just a huge collaboration between stunts, camera department, visual effects, props, everything. For a superhero movie, we tried to keep the whole movie fairly grounded. Whenever we can do live action stunts, we do them always as much as we can. Emma's performance really nailed Cassandra. They just absolutely crushed it. It's really, really one of the best villains I've seen in a long time. Basically a complex psychopath, but a villain that we all have grown to love, to hate. Boys are so silly.